Hey, hello everyone, Jose J. Garcia with Mohome University. Special video. You may not see me do this again, not for a while anyway. I used to do it a while back, and you know, I did my own inspections and that sort of thing. Now I have a uh, handyman that I'd rather send and get them to look into, but I am under a home. I call this downstairs, basement, whatever. We're under a house, a double wide. So, things you should look for under a home, because that's huge as well. When you're out there looking at the inspection, many investors run into the home, run out. They never check the roof. They never check another home. They kind of sort of look at the outside. It, it, it's called an inspection. That's thorough, all exclusive. It's not pick and choose, okay? And it's not convenient. It can be aggravating trying to get on underneath a home. Definitely suggest if you're going to do so, you know, definitely look out for spiders and spider webs and bugs and roaches and i'm not going to keep going on that list but you know how, what are you looking at do you know what you're looking at because if you're just getting under there and you don't know what to look for then it kind of not makes sense anyway get you a handyman get you a contractor and get them to go under there and look at it so that you know what you're looking at okay things that you should be looking for okay insulation which i'm going to turn my camera around insulation is huge okay if this thing is coming down and it will over time you know it is material over time it sags it comes down you know especially the 80 models early 90s you know it, they've done their time and this will start coming down what that's going to happen is you know uh, alone the, the bill of the electric is going to go up because it's no longer insulating so your system is either going to have to overwork to keep the home cool or keep it hot depends on when you know time of year obviously but you want this insulated as much under here as you do on your walls as you do on your ceiling so let me turn the camera and this is what i want to see this is what you want okay all around you know the insulation is there you have this plastic to protect it and it will work it will insulate your home like you want it to it'll save you that power bill which is huge you don't want to overpay on a, on, on a power bill and you know the skirting is obviously on there so over a period of time you know you'll have to get somebody again a handyman a contractor or yourself just pull a, a, a small section like we did here and, and get under there and check it out and make sure you know also another thing that i would look for is obviously the way it's structured and set up you can see the bricks everything in here looks legit nice like it's supposed to uh this home got set you know probably about a month ago so obviously you know it looks a little on the better side including even the plastic on the bottom but uh i would check for you know are, are these in place like they're supposed to be are they starting to fall off is your home has it moved have, you know all these things taken into account along with that i will pay attention to the plumbing again this is fairly new so you're seeing the better of but you know i will pay attention because these things too sag you see that brace on that corner right there they go um those things can break this can start sagging and then you can have water issues leaking a lot of times your water bill goes up and you don't know why you could have a crack you know winter time a lot of times these uh pvc pipes will crack they'll start breaking and water will start coming down so issues like that are things that you want to pay attention to this home they did a very good job that's the strap down on it let me zoom out a little bit uh looks like they had a little bit of a fun while setting it up so but this is what i want to see this is a double wide insulation and there is a brace broken on the other side but i don't think it's needed and that's what i'm talking about even the braces like that you know there, there's no piping no pvc on that so i'm not concerned on it another one on here just spare you know you move them from one side from one place point a to point b and you know you set them up differently so a lot of times those braces are just extra nothing to be concerned about that but i like to set up the bricks are like they're supposed to nothing looks moved it looks set up right the insulation checks out the plumbing looks good i see no leaks and no bugs which is a good thing now let me get up out on under the basement oh here we go again i have not been under a mobile home in a while so that's you may not see me do that again for a while but want to see okay clean condition i like it I, I like to see setups like that and you know you know this is actually dirt underneath the pad is not concrete a lot of times you will have concrete which is also a good thing um i prefer concrete over over this here but in this in this dirt I actually put the uh, plastic which is good over a period of time of course you'll have grass growing through and that sort of thing but you know there are things you can do if you want to keep things from growing under there bugs spiders and that you know they have the sprays that you can't actually do under there exterminator can tell you a little bit more on that but okay off to another property to inspect and that's what we're out doing making videos educational while at it of course any way i can bring tips to you nuggets and inform you keep you up to date visit my site garciamohomeuniversity.com till next time thank you for watching